Hi, everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 18 beta three released the other day, and there's quite a few more features to talk about. So I thought we'd jump in and talk about 20 plus new features that are in iOS 18 beta three since the initial what's new video. Now, RCS messaging is something that we had a couple weeks back in the United States, but if we go to our apps and then we go down to messages within messages, if we scroll down, you'll see RCS messaging. It has its own menu now, and this is now available in places such as Canada, more carriers in the United States and possibly elsewhere throughout the world. Apple will continue to add this. And I would imagine it would be out to most countries and carriers throughout the world by the time it launches to the public sometime in September. Now, when it comes to the control center, there's some updates here as well. If we go ahead and connect some AirPods, AirPods Max or noise canceling AirPods, give it a second to connect here. So we'll let them connect to this device and within the volume slider, press and hold. If you have noise canceling headphones or others, they'll have different options here, press and hold where the arrows are. And then you've got your different options here. So now you can go into those again, noise control control transparency, noise cancellation, and more. So these arrows up and down just weren't working properly before. Now they're actually populated and working properly. Now, if we go into our settings here, you'll see the same thing is true with airdrop, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. So if we tap here, we've got our different options for airdrop. I showed some of this in the previous video, but we have similar arrows all throughout the OS to signify that we have deeper sub menus to go into when it comes to the home screen, they've updated this a little bit as well. If we go over maybe to the next page, go to edit, then go to customize. When we go into tinting, they've updated it. So it's more contrasty and a little bit easier to read. So let's do the same on the other phone with beta two. And if we go to customize again, and we go to tinted, you'll see the color differences are minor, but definitely a little bit better and easier to read on the latest beta. So this is something that I hope they continue to update and make it so it's a little bit better to read. And also another thing I would love to see is the ability to maybe customize specific icons into groups. That was one of the rumors and we never were able to do that. So that's something I would like to see change there where you can customize that individually. Now, also, if we go over to the next page, you'll see, I have the music widget. It's properly in dark mode. Now this wasn't working for some people in beta two and the music widget, when it doesn't play music, you don't have anything selected should have this nice dark mode look to it with iOS 18, Apple introduced a new passwords app, making it much easier to manage your passwords instead of going into keychain and settings and everywhere else. I got a new splash screen or pop up the other day as a notification where it says, take a tour of passwords. Welcome to a new home for your passwords, pass keys and verification codes synced across all your devices. So it's just something that popped up randomly. I hadn't seen posted elsewhere. Also something else that's new is the motion cues for when you're in a car to help you sort of use your phone while it's in motion. It has little dots all over it. If you go into settings and you go to accessibility, then you go to motion under motion. You'll see here that we have vehicle motion cues. If you have this enabled and you have it automatically on in the vehicle, it will now pop up a little thing at the top where it says vehicle motion cues inactive or active, depending on when it activates or deactivates. So that's something that's a little bit new. Instead of just showing the dots, it gives you a little more information. And within Apple CarPlay, if we go into our settings within our settings, if we scroll down, Apple has updated Siri and suggestions with the all new Siri icon. So hopefully we'll see this maybe with beta three re-release or the public beta or beta four, maybe through throughout all of the OS, but currently this is the only place I think I've seen it, especially in CarPlay. Also in CarPlay, if we go into our podcasts and maybe we're playing a podcast and we want to see all of the different episodes they have to offer, you can now browse more than just five or six of them. So you can keep scrolling if you go directly into them. However, if you go into the main page where you have your different podcasts under shows within shows, if you go in here, you'll still only see about five or six of them. So you have to go into the playing area, tap on the date, and then you can see all of them. Hopefully they'll bring this back to the main show page as well. If we go into to settings and then we go to accessibility and then we go down to assistive access. So let's go into assistive access and then maybe you start assistive access. There's actually a new splash screen that will pop up the other day. I also mentioned how, if we go into settings and then we go down to battery within battery, we'll give it just a moment here. 
It will give us our information saying update is finishing in the background. This is still here from the initial update where it says you can use your iPhone as you normally would while a recent software update finishes. This could take a while. Battery life and thermal performance may improve once finished. And another thing they've updated, I talked about that the other day, but if we scroll down, you'll actually see in your battery statistics that device setup and updates is still there. It's using 3% of my battery days after the actual install. So this is something that can take a maybe a week, sometimes two weeks. We don't really know, but at least they're giving us the information now showing us that it's still using some background tasks and processing and everything else affecting our battery and overall heat within photos. They've updated this. So it's much better. There's no longer a border around your photo and you can easily just zoom in to where you want. It doesn't make it just sort of snap and stick there. If you take a look at what it looked like in beta two, you'll see there was sort of a border around it, wasting space. So I'm glad they've updated this and sort of brought it back to what we had before there. Now, if we go into messages in our keyboard menu, if we go under stickers and then we search something by name. So whether that's a dog, an animal or a person, it will actually show stickers with that specific name attached to it. So if you have anything named like that, they'll just show up now. And if you're setting up a new shortcut, they've changed some of the text here. It says add actions from below to create a shortcut. Prior to this, it said create a shortcut to actions you do in your apps every day. So I think it's a little clearer and shorter and just a little bit easier. If we go into our developer options, there's an update there. And if you have developer enabled, go into that within your settings and scroll down. And if we keep scrolling down, you'll see that there's a new option for playable content API. This doesn't really do anything at this time, but it's actually something that's there under media player framework testing. If we go into fitness and then we go to our activity rings, scroll down to where it actually says change goals and then go to schedule. They've updated this. So if we go into that on beta two, you'll see with beta three on the right, it says move goal schedule and says daily in the upper right. They've also made some changes to some of the fonts as well. If we go into the books app and maybe we're reading a book, we'll just look at this iOS 12.3 guide and we want to look up a specific word or term. If we press and hold on one, podcasts, go to look up. This information has a lot more to offer now. So we have the dictionary. We have the apps in the app store that go along with the word. We also have Siri suggested websites, movies, TV shows, and then we can search the web or manage dictionaries. So it's just a little bit more thorough this time around within the books app itself. If we go into the app store, then we go to search, tap the search bar at the top. It remembers the recently searched and you have the option to clear them. This was also in beta two, but it's something that's new to iOS 18. So if you want to clear your recent searches in your app store, you can do that within the podcast app. Maybe we're listening to a podcast. We really think someone else would enjoy, and we want to share that with someone else. Let me turn this down here. I'll resume this one, and then maybe I'll go ahead and share it. We'll go to the three dot menu and then go share episode. And we have a new option where it says from start, or we can share it from where we left off. So if we want to find a specific point, we were listening to it. We think that's a good point in the podcast. We could share it from that specific point. Now there's a couple earlier beta features I wanted to share. The first one has to do with the camera within the camera. If maybe you're going to take a photo and you want to set a timer, you can now do that in three second, five second, or 10 second intervals. In the previous update, we can only do three seconds or 10 seconds. So they've added an additional option to help out if that works for you. Another thing they've updated has to do with the lock screen widgets, press and hold, go to customize. And if we add a widget and scroll down to health, there's some new options here. We have overnight vitals as some new options. Now, whether or not these are working yet, we don't really know. Some people say they are, some people say they're not, but at least we have some nice new options there with the overnight vitals. So those are about 20 more features in iOS 18 beta three and previous ones that I missed before. Let me know if you've found anything else I haven't mentioned in this video or previous videos as well. I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.